This week we're going to look at something a little more productive than some of the previous things we've done. This time we're going to look at something called CalCurs. It's a calendar, to-do maker, to-do lister, and appointment scheduler. And of course this is all done in text mode. And it comes from the website calcurse.org. As you see here on the window, it's calcurse.org. And uh, there are pictures here. It's got appointments, calendar, and a to-do list. It could be themed in different ways. It could be laid out in different organizations. And it's really very cool. You install this just like you do pretty much everything else. sudo apt install cal curse. And I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to do this one this time. This is one of those apps that I actually use regularly, so I didn't want to delete it for this. But sudo apt install calcurs just like we install everything else. No trick to it. Should be no special problems involved. To run it, to, to, the simplest way to run it is just to type in the command calcurs. And you get this right here. It's all blank looking, but if you notice down at the bottom, it does say data files found data will be loaded now. Hit enter. If I do that, stuff comes up. It starts off in the default format, or at least the way I've got it set up. But the, the to-do list is the big window. Calendar is over here, it's small right hand corner, and the appointments are below that. And that's nice, but if you don't like that, you can change that. To, to move between the windows, right now I'm up here on the calendar in the top right, and as, as I move forward or backwards, I get different things that I'm supposed to be doing this week. If I want to move down to the appointments, I can hit the tab key. The tab key cycles through the three main windows, from calendar to appointments to to-do and back to calendar again. Right now you'll see the 22 in the calendar is lit up. It's bright red. That's because that's where we are today. And that, well, here. I click tab. It's subtle, but you just saw the appointments turn green. Tab again. It's, it's subtle, but now the to-dos are darker green. It's light, light shade in this particular theme. It may be a little hard to tell. But right now the to-dos to are highlighted. And if I move the arrow through them, I can select, you know, up or down. And here's this first thing on my list, record CalCurse video. Not real fancy, but there we go. Okay, now we're back to calendar because I hit tab again. And if I move back to yesterday, there was nothing. Drop off a sample on Tuesday, go to the doctor on Monday. Uh, today I'm going to record and edit CalCurse. I'm going to watch three episodes of, what does that say? It's all broken off. Watch three episodes of Game of Thrones. Getting caught up before the new season. Yes, I have seen them all already, but we're re-watching. Uh, where are we at? You can shift tab to move back up. Where are we? Oh, We're on the 22 now. 23, I'm going to upload the video. Pokemon Go event, can't beat that. The Tricos are going to be popular this weekend. Okay, so the, the little calendar up in the top right is mostly what I'm focusing on right at the moment. As you move around, you can get different things. You see the appointments changing. The to-dos over on the left-hand window, they don't have a specific time or date, so they don't change by what day it is. Okay, so let's. Uh, you'll notice it has a menu down on the bottom line. Question mark for help, cue for quit, save, reload, and so forth. Let's go through some of those for a moment. I already said tab changes windows, and you can see that as I hit tab, we cycle through those windows. Import will allow you to import schedules from a text file. Export will do the same thing in reverse. Add item is the most common one. Even if you don't do anything really complicated, you're going to add new things to do. So uh, over here in the to-do list, I hit A. And that's down here, enter the to-do item. Have dinner tonight. Not real complicated. Then it asks me for a priority, with 1 as the highest, 9 as the lowest, or 0 as none. You'll see I usually, with the list up there, record CalCurse is 1, edit CalCurse is 2, get caught up on Game of Thrones is 7. It's not really a matter of priority. I put the numbers on there so I could see what needs to be done in order. 
And this one here, the dinner, I'm probably going to do that between unpacking and Game of Thrones. So I'm going to put this as a 7. And I'm going to have to move 8 to a different number. It comes up as a 7, and I've already got a 7. So if I want to keep these in order, I have to change one of these to an 8. So I'll use my arrow keys to move to this one right here, which I want to do last. And then I can use minus to lower the number or plus to raise the number. I want it to go to an 8, raising from 7. So I highlight that, hit plus, and it makes it line 8. And there's no limit to how many things you can have. I've got 8 things there. You can have hundreds. It doesn't really matter. Um, you can delete an item. Let's say I decide I'm going to be lazy today. I'm not going to do this treadmill thing. I'll highlight that one. Press D. Do you really want to delete this? Yes. And it does. Nothing too awful complicated there. And you'll notice down in the very bottom right hand window, there's O for other commands, which allows you to edit, view, and do some other more complicated things. We just talked about changing the priority with plus and minus, and those are listed here. You don't have to go through the menus. You can just hit the keys at any time. Uh, let's say I want to change this one. I will edit with E. Enter the new to-do description. And I want to do this Saturday, because I always do that on Saturday. Boom, and it changes the description up there. Post CalCurse video to YouTube on Saturday. Uh, if you want to view one, it's not much there in this case because they're fairly short, but each one of these things can have quite a bit of text involved. You could make long notes instead of just simple one-liners like I do. Piping and flag items, we're not going to worry about that. Edit note, you can use uh, N for edit note. And that brings up Vim, which is my text editor that I have installed. I don't want to get involved with that one right now, but you can add notes to these things as well. And you can use, what is it, K and J for up and down. It uses the Vim keys if you're familiar with Vim. Nothing too complicated, just if you get used to K and J for up and down, you don't have to use the arrow keys. Um, okay, looking over at the calendar, it's basically a calendar. You, you can't change the things up in the top right hand calendar there. It says March 2019th, which, and today's the 22nd, right there. And this week is highlighted. You can see I have appointments on the 23rd, 24th, 19th, and 20th, because they're slightly different colors. Hopefully you can see that. I don't have any appointments on the 21st. It's a slightly lighter shade of green. And Sunday I got stuff, and the rest of the next week is clear. There's nothing on those. So you can tell right away which ones have things to do, which ones don't, which is nice. Okay, then we got appointments down at the bottom where you do individual things. Um, I've got from 12 o'clock, from noon to 3 o'clock, record and edit this video. Uh, 6 to 9, we're going to watch three episodes of Game of Thrones. And from and from 9 to 10 o'clock, I'm going to treadmill and bike. Okay, let's say I want to add something. I don't remember how to add something. It's right there on the menu, A for Add. Okay, so this is, remember, we're in the appointment section. So the start time, I'm going to do this at, I'm going to do this at 9.30 tonight. So just to keep it simple, I like to use the military time for these. It's probably not necessary, but I do it. Starts at 21, at 9.30, and it ends at 10 o'clock. Now, what am I going to do during that hour? Read Reddit. because who's not addicted to Reddit? Okay, and once I got my little description in there, hit enter, and there it appears. Want to change it, I can highlight that, and hit enter to read the details, or again, you can hit E to edit that, where you can edit the start time or the end time or the description, or move it to another day. I don't really want to change anything, so just hit through, okay. Okay, to continue with the menus, uh, we did all these. Uh, o for other gives you these items. You can add or subtract one day with a capital T or a lowercase d or 
a week with a capital W, and then, then there's O for other command again, where we can add weeks, months, or year. There's a configuration button, and Control A adds appointment no matter where you are. You don't have to be in the little box. Control T is for adding a to do wherever you are, and you can copy and do other things. Let's look at C for config. That brings up general, layout, sidebar, color, notify, and keys. Well, some of these colors are a little hard to tell sometimes. So let's press C for color. And you can set the foreground color or the background color. And I like the background generally being black. That's nice. But we can change the foreground to a nice color of red. Just put X in there if you want it to be yellow or green or lighter green or whatever. You can do that. I'm going to go with red. Then I'm going to hit quit. And now I've got a red theme. And this is a lot more obvious which one's highlighted now. The appointments box is highlighted. If I hit tab, if I hit tab, it will cycle through those. This is a little more obvious now. Okay, back to those configuration menus. Uh, G for general. And there's a lot of things you can set here. Do you want the monthly calendar display? formatting dates. Most of these you're probably not going to mess with. I never do. I, I just leave it the way it is. They're, they're, they're pretty fine the way they are. Layout is kind of nice. You can set the layout. Right now you can see the red highlighted one has the to-dos in the big window on the left, the calendar in the small window up the top right, and the appointments at the bottom right. Now in my case I usually have more to-dos than appointments, so this is good for me. But maybe you've got a whole bunch of appointments. You might prefer to have the appointments over there, the to-dos over in the top right, and the calendar at the bottom. So you highlight that, hit quit, and it moved everything around. Now the appointments are over on the left, to-dos are on the top right, and the calendar is at the bottom. If you would prefer to maybe have that calendar at the top right the way I had it the first time, you could move that, and there it looks good. Things are the way we want them. Okay, uh, there's notifications and some other stuff there. K for keys lets you customize the individual command keys. If you don't like something the way it is, you can change them. No reason to change them, I don't think. Add and delete seem like pretty common things, but you can do that. And of course, anytime you need help, you can just hit the question mark. And that brings up that, which is not terribly helpful, but it's not too bad. You can ask for help on certain things. Okay, and that is the basics of the command line app CalCurse. There's a little more, one more, th but wait, there's more. Once you get out of the app and go to the command line, well, like I said, you just type CalCurse to get it started, but if you just want to know your appointments, you can type CalCurse dash a and it will give the appointments if you just want to know your to do's minus t does that and you can very quickly get those and of course with your unix command you can pipe those to a text file if you needed to or some other kind of to do list or calendar list okay i said earlier all you need to do to make it work is type calcurs and that's fine that brings up the, the whole interface and the screen and the nice little calendar and stuff but you can also type in an additional command like minus D3. This gives you your appointments for the next three days. Here you got the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. If you want to do two days, just put in a two. If you want to put in a week's worth, you can put in a week's worth. It's another quick way if you ever want to export your stuff, you can export everything all at once. Of course it has its own built-in export functions, but you get the idea. You can get them out this way also. And that's CalCurse. Very easy to use, very easy to install, very useful if you put all your stuff into it. Easy to get your stuff out of it if you want to transfer over to other things. Now there are also interfaces that will let you combine this with Google Calendar and Apple Calendar. I don't have that installed, it's kind of a hassle, but if you really are interested in that, it's doable. And that's CalCurse, an easy way to get your stuff scheduled and get your to-dos organized. I will be seeing you next week, unless you can't wait for next week, in which case you can pick up 
Going Text, Mastering the Power of the Command Line, where all good books are sold. Otherwise, I'll see you next week. See ya.